Hey, what up, everybody? Steve Breach coming to you with a video. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Sorry about that freaking idea. I apologize. There we go. Let's get that all fixed. Hey, what up, everybody? Steve Breach coming to you in this video. I'm going to be talking about some uh, WB DVDs. Uh, WB DVDs is probably the biggest part of my collection. I love collecting DVDs. I love watching wrestling for the past, the present, the future. Um, it's always good to dip dive and, uh, you know, watch some stuff. I've been watching a lot of Summer Slams lately, getting ready for the uh, big Summer Slam trip down to Los Angeles. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the stuff that's coming out in the future. We're finally getting our hands on uh, a Randy Orton DVD, which has been long overdue for, for a long time. Uh, and this year they put out some DVDs that have, you know, sort of like made you scratch your head about, you know, the stuff that they're coming out with, you know. Um, I feel like in the past the John Morrison DVD was sort of rushed and put out a little bit, you know, faster than I thought it was going to. The Big Show DVD that came out this year, that was a little weird. Um, but... Uh, I, I'm just looking forward to some stuff that is coming out. You know, with, with a um, a DVD set coming out on uh, um, on Randy Orton, that's got to think make you think about who's next. CM Punk definitely deserves. You know, he's had a lot of great matches uh, since '06 to now um, that they can fill up a two to three disc set. But I, I want to dip dive and, and talk about stuff from the past. I mean, honestly, uh, you've seen on Twitter a lot of the stuff from the '90s is trending. Nickelodeon's running uh, a lot of the um, old '90s shows that a lot of the um, People that are hitting their 20s now I watch back in the day, and people are going crazy and watching that stuff every night. And I think that's a big part of wrestling is reliving your past. A lot of the fans that are out there today are definitely going to buy this because there's a lot of people that just buy WWE DVDs, no matter you know what it is. They're just going to pick it up at, at a habit. Um, but um, there's a lot of people out there that don't watch wrestling anymore. I was listening to the CM Punk uh, interview uh, with Bill Simmons on the BS Report through ESPN. If you haven't downloaded that and listened to it yet, definitely head on over there. It's free on iTunes. Uh, look for uh, the Bill Simmons, the BS Report. That's the name of the show. Definitely check that out. And He's saying that um, I, I gained a lot of respect for him. It was one of the last things he said in the interview is that his goal in wrestling right now is to make wrestling cool again make it like it was in the late nineties you know make it to where you know wrestling is not your hidden hobby and um... i give him a lot of respect for that i think that's gonna take a lot of uh... uh it's gonna take a lot to do that but uh, but I mean, that's what i try to do I, mean, I try i definitely don't try to hide from watching wrestling i, I openly talk about it uh, and i try to find people that haven't watched it in a while and, and try to convert them into at least watching one show to see if it's gonna hook them um, but, but I mean, if, if you're walking through Walmart, you know, a part of your childhood and you, and you love Hulk Hogan and you see a DVD of Hulk Hogan on the shelf, you're definitely at least going to pick it up to see what the hell it is. And that's why I'm saying one of the biggest sets they need to re-release that is so easy. It's already made. All you have to do is squish it on DVD. Yeah, you're going to have to go, do, go through and do some editing. Every time that they say the initials WWF, you're going to have to either change it to a WWE or you're going to hit the mute button for a second. Um, before the people already you know yell and scream about the blurs, you're not gonna have to blur anything that isn't from the Attitude Era. The only um, you know thing that has to be um, blurred out is that scratch WBF logo. That's it. If it's got the old school WBF logo with the big gold font, that's fine. That, that's that's you know easy going. So that's what I'm saying. Like release the Hulkamania sets. There's Hulkamania one through six, the the All American, uh, American Hulk Hogan, the Hulkster. These DVDs are great. They're short. They're only one hour. More than likely with DVD uh, stuff, you can put three of them on one disc. That's an easy three-disc set that's already made that has great matches with Hulk Hogan against Piper, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, um, Zeus, <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage. I mean, there's just straight-up legends in the business. It covers feuds like The Earthquake. Uh, Mr. Perfect. This is stuff that people would love to see that is from their childhood. That you, you pick it up and you're going to be like, whoa, 20 bucks for this? I'm going to throw it in the cart. That's an easy buy. Uh, I want a damn uh, completion to my Survivor Series anthology. Why that left off at 96. Oh, I apologize, 95. 96 is the one year that everybody wants. You know, with the, with the Montreal screw job, for some reason we don't have that until now. C complete that damn thing. Uh, I would love to see a King of the Ring set. I, I, there's, no, there's not many of those. Uh, the next thing people are going to say is they want an In Your House uh, complete series. For that, you're going to have to go over to Silver Vision and get it. There's no way. I believe there's 26 In Your Houses. Even if you find a way to put two on there, that's 13 discs. Uh, some shows are two hours, some shows are three hours, so it won't work. But um, it'd be nice to have them. But honestly, if you go back and look at those shows, there's some that are really, really great. I believe Canadian Stampede stands out as one of the best. But there's a lot of shows out there that are really held up just by the main event. Maybe we can uh, find a way to squeeze out an In Your House 
uh, best of, uh, make it a three disc set, and just fill it through it full of stuff like the um, um, matches from Bad Blood, and, and you get like Mankind against um, Shawn Michaels. Some of this stuff is already on other, um, you know, three disc sets, and so so we don't want to fill it up with too much of that stuff, but. In Your House, what a, what a great series that was. It started out as a monthly pay-per-view for two uh, for, for a two-hour show. It was real cheap, 15, 20 bucks, something like that. Very affordable for the uh, months in between the big five. And I think the, they blew those up too much to make them all $50 shows on uh, pay-per-view. And, um, you know, go, go back to the old days, the easy, affordable shows. And I think that would help out your buy rate a whole lot. I mean, $50 every month for a pay-per-view is, is kind of astronomical. But if you build a stacked card... The fans that I know out there are going to buy it out of respect for the WBF. A lot of people I know went out and they bought Money in the Bank because it was a stacked card top to bottom. And you knew something big was going to happen. And why watch it on a small smashed up screen? But people are still going to buy that stuff. You know, if, if it's available for free and, and lesser quality, you're going to watch it for free. Even if, you know, you can watch it in perfect quality for 50 bucks. Because is it really worth 50 bucks every month? you got to wonder. I mean... I don't know, but I love to see discs on like you know CM Punk, and finally these big old uh, disc sets on like the ladder matches. They have a disc two of the ladder, or episode two or volume two of the ladder matches coming up, and I, you know they, they they've already pumped out the greatest steel cage matches. That's sort of like a volume two because they had put one out before uh, Elimination Chamber. I'm glad those are done. I'm glad they're gonna have to go in and try and reinvent things. Uh, the, the the 21st greatest uh, superstars. Uh, DVD Blu-ray set that was excellent. Uh, they have the Oh My God series uh, that, that's coming out next. That's going to be really, really good. And uh, I haven't really, honestly, looked at the spoilers for that yet. I really wanted to get that and pop that in and watch that on my own and just relive that stuff because you know th that stuff is. I mean, if you get 50 greatest moments that are going to mark you out, uh, I, I really don't want to know what's coming next because I want to be able to be like, Oh My God, you can't top this. This is great. But. Uh, head on over, uh, as always, WB DVD News. They're, they're a great friend of mine. And, you know, Blackerford just shut down his YouTube and his Twitter stuff, and uh, he's sort of walking away. But WB DVD News is still there for your DVD News stuff. Uh, it's always good. If you ever need, a, uh, need them, you can always tweet them, and they'll answer you back pretty fast. They're, they're pretty good guys over there. So uh, definitely check them out. And uh, um, I guess this Capital Punishment Blu-ray is not real. He, the person who did it... Uh, and they haven't really came out and showed it a whole bunch. I don't know if it's like a DVD cover inside of a Blu-ray and he tried to fool us all, but it's not April Fool's, so I don't really want to know. That guy I'm really cool with. That's why I'm not really throwing him under the bus here, but uh, hopefully we can figure out what was going on with that. But it made me go to FYE and go to Best Buy, and I tried to order them from both uh, just to see what would happen, and I got a back order listing from both. So I don't know. WV DVD News says it's not real, so... We'll go from there, but thank you very much.